Hi, in this video, we are going to learn the initial steps that we need to take before creating the timetable or before doing the data entry. So this is the dashboard and this is the first screen that you will come across when you log into your account. So in this, you can see that uh, there is a message given out here before you start, please set your number of periods slash days by clicking the below button. So this is the button that you have to click and this is where we are actually going to set the number of days and number of periods that your particular school has. Okay. So what we need to do over here is over here we have this list. So from here we are going to select the number of days and the number of periods that your school has. So for example, I will take this as maybe I have six days and the number of periods that I have, I will take this as maybe seven. Over here below, it is just showing you the number of uh, periods that you selected that is seven as you can see over here and the number of days that you selected is six. A total slots that is available that is 42 that is uh, 7 into 6 42 slots are available now what you need to do is maybe you have a situation where you have different number of periods and different number of days for different classes maybe for the primary section you have different number of uh, less number of periods and for the higher classes you have more number of periods in that case what you are supposed to do is you're going to set the timetable that uh, the maximum that you have so for example i have six days and seven periods and that's the maximum that i have in my school so i'm going to set this timetable to the maximum okay and after that i'm going to click on reset after clicking on reset again it will ask it will give you a warning if you have any previous timetable that got generated so it will clear that and uh, then this will be set this will reset basically so just click on reset and now what happens is okay now you have set your number of days that is six and number of periods that is seven and now i will take this as an example that in my school Okay, the number of days are six, that's the maximum, and the number of periods that we have is seven. So six by seven. Okay. Now in the primary section, now you might come across a situation your school has less number of periods in the primary section or in the lower section. So in that case, what you what you need to do is basically you need to click on the edit days slash period. Under this option, there is an option sub option that is apply break slash keep certain periods slash days off okay so over here this particular option is going to help us to keep certain periods or certain uh, days or a particular period we can keep it off okay so the same option i've given out here as well that is apply break keep certain periods or uh, slash days off so once you click over there you will come across this particular screen now over here what we need to do is we need to uh, set the number of days and number of periods or we can you know i mean to say we need to off certain number of periods for a particular class for example uh, for class one now i have around four classes out here so for class one okay i will assume that there are only five periods so i need to keep the sixth and the seventh period off so what i need to do is i can individually i can select all of them this way or what i can do is i can simply click over here that is below the uh, you know the period you can see there is a check box given if i click over there you can see all got selected the same i will do for the seventh period as well and all got selected in case if you have some individual periods you want to keep it off for example on a saturday maybe there are only maybe four periods so what i will do i will just you know check this particular checkbox and now saturday there are only four periods so this is how i can keep certain periods or certain days i can keep it off now this is you know i did it for class one i did it i haven't yet saved it so what i need to do is 
I need to click on say and then I say yes and now this particular you know the setting that I did is been saved so just click on close and now you can see if I go to class 2 okay there is nothing which means that there are total number of periods are 7 by 6 and uh, same for all the classes so for example for class 2 I have the same thing so I'll just uh, check and deselect and select again and over here and then again I will click on save and say yes so even for class 2 I have the same thing but for class maybe 3 and 4 I don't have anything I have complete 7 periods and complete 6 days right so I'm not going to do anything now in case if you have your school where there are same number of periods and same number of days for all the classes in that case you are not going to do anything into this you will simply just reset your timetable to the number of days and number of periods and that's it you don't need to come to this particular screen so this is how you can set different number of days and different number of periods for different classes in the next video i'm going to show you how to do the data entry okay bye for now